fish that can do that. Look at those teeth. Woo! Good job, good job. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, the big Guys, what's up? Hey, welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC. We are right here every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Mark your calendars. We try and put a new show out to you every two weeks or so. And right now, there is not a bunch of fishing going on. There's some tall tall being caught out in the ocean, a couple of stripers in close to the beach, even in the back bay, I hear, but not enough to where we can make a TV show out of it. We weren't able to go with Captain Kane Bounds on the fish bound thanks to some nasty weather, and the party boats are having a hard time getting out there, too. So what we thought we'd do is come into the Hooked on OC studios here in West Ocean City, put together a little back bay fishing information. Coming up after the break, I am going to drop some knowledge on you. I did a seminar on Facebook a couple of weeks ago that was a really big hit, and we're going to bring it right back to you here at Hooked on OC to get you prepared for the summer season back bay fishing. We'll be right back in just a second. Stay tuned. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Firestorm has the area's largest selection of sunglasses to choose from. Brand names like Oakley, Maui Jim, Bond Zipper, Electric, Ray-Ban, Costa, Smith, and Spy. Over 3,000 pairs of great brand name sunglasses. Nobody has this kind of selection anywhere. Firestorm has a great selection of watches featuring Nixon, G-Shock, Neff, and Freestyle. Over 32,000 square feet of awesome surfwear and equipment. Visit Firestorm Surf Shop today on the boardwalk at North Division Street. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. We appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. Like I said at the top of the show, there is not a lot going on here in Ocean City. There's some rock fishing in the back bay, some really obscure fishing, like a buddy of mine caught one way up the creek in the St. Martins River on January 28th. Four feet of water and a ditch that's probably 30 feet across rockfish swimming around in there. Some warm weather days like we had in the, in the middle part of February. There's going to be rockfish around the Route 90 Bridge. Be moving into the South Bay down by the Verrazano Bridge anytime now. Flounder and Tall Tall are going to be moving into the bays at any time now. But right now, not so hot. So what I just figured we'd do is come to the studio here and we're going to set you up with some knowledge-based stuff for back bay fishing in Ocean City. Get you all set up with the rigs, the different spots that we fish. We're going to talk about different baits as far as artificial and live and natural baits are concerned and we're going to talk about all of it right here so you guys can get set up and do some really great bay fishing once the season starts and you can get out there and catch fish and do it just like we do here at Hooked on OC. All right first up we're going to talk about fishing spots. If you pay attention to my fishing OC fishing report online or you read my dispatch column during the summer you're going to notice me mention a lot of these spots time and time again because they're very popular spots that we fish in and around the back bays of Ocean City. We've got several different spots for flounder, tall, sheep's head, 
bluefish, trout, rockfish, you name it, where all these guys kind of congregate. And as people catch them throughout the season, you're going to hear them in fishing reports, you're going to hear them on TV during our show, and we're going to tell you about them in different places. You might not know where they are. Not for long. The different spots we talk about when we're fishing in the back bays of Ocean City are a couple I break down to this way. Behind Assateague Island, the thoroughfare, the east channel to the north, the east channel around the Route 50 bridge, and the Ocean City Inlet. These are the popular spots as far as generalizations go, but we're going to get a little bit more specific and move into some detailed spots in these particular places in and around the back bays of Ocean City. So behind Assateague, you're going to hear me talk about this when we're flounder fishing, right? Early on in the spring, fish are hanging out in shallow water, and behind Assateague Island is a terrific spot for early season flounder starting April-May time frame because it's a very shallow part of the bay back there with some deeper channels. Bait gets pushed into those areas. You've got the Verrazano Bridge way down to the south that will hold bait and that sort of thing, and it's ambush predators. Flounder hang out in these spots looking for an easy meal, and there's a couple different places that you're going to want to target them. The Ocean City Airport, you look to the middle of the screen there, the little blue dot, that's the Ocean City Municipal Airport. Right out in front of the airport is a terrific spot. Just to the south of Ocean City Airport is Castaways Campground. The duck blinds are a real hot spot early on in the spring in April and May. You look very close underneath where it says duck blinds, you can see that light brown color. That's sandbars. You're not going to want to be running into those things, but around those areas are terrific spots for flounder. And then look way down to the south of Verrazano Bridge, the bridge that goes from the mainland over to Assateague Island. And that's about as far south as we go when we're talking about fishing behind Assateague Island. Now up to the north, way up north of the Route 50 Bridge, south of the Route 90 Bridge, is the Thoroughfare. This is another really, really good spot in the spring. This is a hot spot for me in the spring. Last April, May 2020, I was murdering flounder in the thoroughfare flats. You can see that right in the middle of your screen there, just below Haystack Pond, just below the bridge in the St. Martins River. That's an awesome spot for early season flounder as they, they school up on the shallow parts of the bay. Four to maybe even six or eight feet of water is really, really good fishing. The channel, you can see that toward the bottom of the screen. That's the main channel that comes up from Harbor Island and the, the north part of the East Channel that heads up towards Ocean Pines and the St. Martins River. Just to the west of that is the West Channel, an old channel that is not navigable to the north. It's tough to get up through there because of the sandbars and things. You can see in that light brown just above the West Channel. There used to be two small islands there called Dog and Bitch Islands. They're no longer there. Uh, Mother Nature has wiped them off the face of the earth. But when the summer moves along, you can catch fish in those deep water channels in the channel and the west channel where water can be anywhere between 15 and 30 feet deep. All right, next up is the northern part of the East Channel. So the East Channel runs from the Ocean City Inlet, makes a right-hand turn around the Oceanic Pier, and then heads straight up the east side of the bay. Underneath the Route 50 Bridge, the East Channel of the next to the Route 50 Bridge that we'll get to in a couple of minutes, and that goes all the way up toward Bahia Marina, past Harbor Island, Bahia Marina, all the way up toward the Route 90 Bridge in the eastern part of the bay. Middle part of the bay, we call it the great spot there, is Harbor Island on 14th Street, the 9th Street pier you can't see on this graphic it's just below harbor island there there's a nice spot with some deep water off of there spot i call the y and you can see for good reason why when you're coming up from the east channel the southern part of the east channel there's a space where you can either head to the left and go toward captain's hill in the third fair or you can head to the right and go up toward jolly roger amusement park the channel that takes you into 22nd street at bahia marina the convention center up to the north or the route 90 bridge up there by the Aston woman bay Convention Center just mentioned it. That's off of 40th Street, and the Route 90 Bridge is just below the Aston Bay. Terrific spot for rockfish, bluefish, flounder in the early spring. This is the middle part of the Isle of Wight Bay behind Ocean City. Now, most of the fish that we catch on the species list that we're going to get to in a couple of minutes can be caught in and around the Route 50 Bridge and Ocean City Inlet area. We're going to talk about in my fishing report all the time about the Ocean City Inlet, the Route 50 Bridge, the South Jetty, the North Jetty, Martha's Landing, and all the places I'm going to mention to you here. So we'll start at the top of the page there, the East Channel. You can see it over on the right-hand side of your screen. As I mentioned, it's this channel that goes from the Oceanic Pier and the Ocean City Inlet up the east side of the bay, cuts over toward the northwest and heads toward the thoroughfare up to Bahia Marina and the Route 90 Bridge. The West Channel. The West Channel is over on the west side of the bay, obviously. It's on the other side of Horn Island and Skimmer Island. A little tidbit of information here. If you don't know the West Channel and how to get there, don't go there. 
West Channel is super, super shallow. And as you can see by Skimmer and Horn Island there, it's really tough to navigate. If you don't know how to get over there, I do not recommend going to the West Channel just because it's a difficult spot to get to. And I see people running aground there all the time. On the way to the West Channel by the Route 50 Bridge is the Fish Bowl. You'll hear the Fish Bowl mentioned quite a bit in the fall. Great spot for flounder fishing. It's a nice, easy, slow drift regardless of how the tide is moving. Martha's Landing is to the south side of the Route 50 Bridge. That's a new spot over there with all those really beautiful houses. The Commercial Harbor, obviously right there by Sunset Marina. Great spot to drift in front of for flounder. You can catch tog around the pilings and things there. Speaking of tog, South Jetty and North Jetty are going to be hot spots for tog. They love rocks. They love structure. You'll also be able to catch trigger fish, sea bass, Sheep's Head, you name it there. And then once again, the Ninth Street Pier, that's just below Harbor Island. You can fish from shore there if you'd like. There's a pier right there off of Ninth Street that you can fish from. And if you have a boat, you can go out there and drift for flounder and all sorts of different species right off of Ninth Street. And the drift from Harbor Island down to Ninth Street, really great spot for flounder. All right, we got all the spots taken care of, all right? You got your notebook filled in on where's where, when different spots we're talking about fishing. After the break, I'm gonna show you the setup that I use for fishing the back bay, the rigs that I use. We're also gonna talk about gulp baits and other artificials and some natural baits to catch all the different species in Ocean City. We'll be right back in just a second. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. At Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. Looking for a job and a fun place to work this summer? Come to Jolly Rogers' first ever job fair, Saturday, March 13th or Saturday, March 27th. Work at Splash Mountain, Speed World, rides and attractions at the pier, one of the three oceanfront hotels, or at one of the preferred partners on the boardwalk, Ripley's, Thrasher's, Ocean Bites, or Core Brothers. Hiring on the spot? Come to the guest service office at Jolly Rogers on 30th Street in Ocean City, Saturday, March 13th or Saturday, March 27th between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an optical galleria? Did you know an optical galleria has a lab and makes glasses right here in OC? Did you know an optical galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple. An optical galleria can help you see. If you want awesome old school customer service and hot new styles, bring your prescription in to an optical galleria today. The place to see and be seen. Make an optical galleria your destination for eyewear. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, folks, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC. We are talking back bay fishing. We're going to get into the species. We've already talked about where you catch them. And what we're going to do toward the end of the show is we're going to put all this information together and tell you where to go fish for certain species using what. So I got my bag of tricks here. Ah. I carry this with me everywhere I go. I've also got one of the Myers Pro Tackle systems on my boat. I keep some trays with different baits in it and that sort of thing. Really convenient option that you can take with you. It's mobile. But this is the main stuff that I use. No jokes aside. Boom. Fishing OC rigs ready to roll. Big Bird's world famous Roy rig. Bill Pino's otter tails. Those are always on there ready to go and a big assortment of gulp baits, okay? 
That's just one can of gold baits. I got three other ones in here, and I usually take a bucket full of them. So, let's talk about this stuff. So if I'm casting, if we're doing casting around a Route 50 bridge, you've watched shows when I go with Big Bird, we're fishing the South Jetty, Route 50 bridge, any place where we're gonna be doing any casting, I'm using the Roy Ring. This is what we start with. And go for the back here. Not for human consumption. Duh. It says it right there, right on the back of the package in big bold letters. If you take a look at what's inside the Roy Ring packaging, this is what you get. You get two full baits. Big Bird puts the hook condom on there. Make sure you take that off. I've made the mistake of forgetting to cut that off of there. It's a little piece of plastic that protects you from getting hooked. Big Bird and his buddies, when they're putting the Roy rigs together, they sharpen these by hand themselves while they're watching Jerry Springer. Be careful when any chairs come flying in. But Jerry Springer episodes get these things done. Comes with one head and a rig, another head and a rig, and then two replacement shads. So this is what you get in the packaging with the Roy rig. Terrific bait, catches most everything that we've got in the bay. Actually caught a tall tog on one. Don't ask me how or why. Next up, the fishing OC fishing rigs. We have a huge selection of these now. We've got 10 SKUs available online at fishingoc.com. Some of them are my design. Some of them are my good friend Dale Timmons' design. Dale Timmons is a great, great friend of mine. We've known each other for a long time. And he was in the tackle business a while back. He was making something called the, the Deadly Double, the Double Trouble, the Croker Smoker, some other rigs like that. And Dale stopped making them. It started to be a pain in the neck, literally. So he stopped making them. And I had an opportunity where I came in and I said, hey, Dale, got a lot of people asking about the rig because we use them on TV shows so much still. They're so successful. What do you think about doing something together and bringing them back? He didn't want to do it. So he said, Scotty, you go for it. So that's what we did. Can't thank him enough for letting us get involved with this, but now we've got 10 SKUs, and here they are. <clears throat> we changed the name of the Croker Smoker just because I haven't seen a Croker in quite a few years here in Ocean City, and we didn't want to put ourselves into a corner. So this is now the two-hook float rig. Terrific rig for fishing the surf. It's got two floats on it, two one hot wide gap hooks. Great for little strip baits, fish bites, small gulps, blood worms, pieces of squid, that sort of thing for fishing in the surf. It's also a great rig for fishing behind Ocean City when you're fishing for croakers if they show up, small sea bass. Uh, you're fishing in the back uh, bulkhead behind 3rd Street, 4th Street, Oceanic Pier. This is a great rig to put on there for the kids and catch some smaller tight fish, but it will also catch you flounder. I fished on the Bay B with my fraternity brothers a few years back and I won the biggest fish and the most fish fishing with the two hook float rig and a piece of gulp. That was it. Simple rig, very, very effective. The live bait rig. Live bait rig is a three-way swivel, a little bit of a drop sinker snap at the bottom. Inline three-way swivel puts you down to a four-aught hook, two and a half so or feet away. This is a terrific rig for big minnows, live bunker, live spot. Live mullet, this is something that I use all summer long once the big fish show up. My wife Kristen last year during the Ocean Pines flounder tournament caught her first ever flounder limit for legal fish on this rig, the live bait rig, using live bunker. Next up, the double header. Double header is a terrific rig for fishing the rocks. This is gonna be something you're gonna put squid on, sand fleas, green crabs, even blue crab and things like that. It's a double hook rig with a Mustad 4011 blue O'Shaughnessy style hook on there, really tough hook. 50 pound leader, two hooks per liter, and two rigs per pack. That is the double header top and bottom rig. You can also use this offshore. We used this fishing on the angler last year and we were killing sea bass with this bad boy. Really effective rig, kind of compact, so you're not gonna get tangled in everything else like you would the deadly double or the double trouble. Double trouble. This bad boy comes in three colors now. This is one of Dale's original designs. This is a two hook flounder rig. You can also catch trout on this. Rockfish have eaten it. Anything in this particular area is depending on what bait you put on it. This is gonna be something that I use in the spring, summer, and fall for flounder. It's got a 3-0 wide gap hook on in there. Some people like those wide gap conventional flounder style hooks and they come in three colors. Boom, chartreuse, two hooks per rig, pink, and brand new for 2021 by popular demand, the white. And now, the rig that started it all. This is it, the deadly double. 
I literally just dropped off over 2,000 deadly doubles to Atlantic Tackle in West Ocean City. So if you need them, you can run by there and get them. They come in two colors right now, pink and chartreuse. And chartreuse, by a long shot, worked really, really well for me last spring. We were fishing in the thoroughfare three different times in the course of about two and a half weeks. I went to the thoroughfare mainly with the double, excuse me, the deadly double and chartreuse using pink and white gulp, and I murdered the flounder. I had three limits inside of two and a half weeks. Weeks. Biggest fish was around 22 inches, but they were snapping the head off of this thing with just something as simple as a white or pink gulp on it. That's the Fishing OC rig line. What do I put on them? Gulp baits. Never thought I'd say that an artificial bait would work better than a regular bait or a natural bait, but these things really, really kill flounder. Terrific bait for everything. Flounder, red drum, you name it, it in the back bay, it eats it, especially those flounders. So these bad boys go on the deadly double and the double trouble, even the live bait rig. Last but certainly not least, Bill Pino's straight long, I think that is. Yep, that's the straight long otter tails. Very, very good for fishing off the beach. We catch, catch uh, sea bass, flounder, and that sort of thing off the beach on the party boats and the local inshore charter boats when we're wreck fishing. Tough, tough bait. Unlike the, the gulp, you put this bad boy on there, you can catch fish after fish after fish, and this thing is not going to fall off. All right? Really, really terrific bait. All right, so talked about rigs, talked about baits. Let's talk setup. All right, I got two different setups when I'm fishing back bay in and around Ocean City. One spinning and one casting. Spinning rod, this awesome JPR Custom. This is a six footer. You can see it's got our Fishing OC colors on there, the blue and yellow and white. Fishing OC logo on there if you want. We got a flounder on there. And this is just a real simple 12 to 20 pound spinning outfit. Really nice flexibility, but super strong. I was able to catch a 33 inch bluefish with this exact setup a couple years, two years ago now it is with Big Bird Cropper. The one you'll see me using more than anything is this bad boy. Love this thing. This is the Fishing OC Hooked on OC Flounder Rod. All right, if you look down from one end, you can see this is the curly cue you hear so much about. And we call it a curly cue because as the line comes off of the reel, bait caster is going to be on the top of the reel. The, the guides curl around the blank. So this one's up top like it should be. Next one's just a little bit offset. Next one's a little bit more offset than that until the rest of the guides come around down off the bottom of the blank and they pull more like a spinning rod. And what that does is, as your line is coming off of the reel, rather than it hitting a guide and a guide and a guide and then getting toward the top, and as the rod takes a bend, what'll happen is you can see that line's gonna wanna hit the blank. With a curly cue rod, that doesn't happen. The line will always be in a guide and it makes for a nice smooth, reeling and casting. I can cast this almost as far as I can cast a spinning reel. Really terrific setup. This is a six foot six option. Same color scheme here, yellow, silver, and white. I got a flounder on there. I got my name, fishing OC and hooked on OC. And this thing's all ready to go for the spring, man. Deadly double and chartreuse. This thing is going in the water in less than two months. The reel here, Shimano. Right, high efficiency, Calcutta. Had this thing for almost 25 years, never giving me a problem. Those are my setups. When we come back after the break, we're gonna talk artificial baits and natural baits, and then we're gonna get into the species and where and how to catch them. See you in a second. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. With over 130 years combined experience, Midshore Electronics offers a team of FCC licensed, factory trained, and CMET technicians that are ready for any marine electronics installation, modification, or repair. No project too small. Midshore Electronics provides the most innovative marine electronics solutions available and our work has been voted best on the bay for over 20 years. 
With locations in both Cambridge and Ocean City, you can depend on Midshore Electronics to give you the highest quality of sales, installation, and design services available. Visit our website, stop by, or call us today. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about this awesome guy. He's got it ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. Got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family too. For a comprehensive overview of the entire Delmarva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial on back bay fishing in Ocean City, Maryland. We got the rigs taken care of. We talked about all those. We got the setups. Setup is taken care of. Got all those. Now let's talk about some baits. When it comes to artificial baits for flounder fishing, I'm using gulfs. No two ways about it, man. This is my slimy, disgusting gulp container right here. Can't wait to put it in the water come March sometime. I'm going to be putting these in the water up there in the third fair on these rigs. And these are what I'm going to have on there. I recommend, if you're going to pick up gulps, pick up every one of these colors in both of these sizes for back bay fishing in Ocean City. You're going to want to pick up the 4-inch and the 5-inch swimming mullet. And you're going to want to get all four colors of white, chartreuse, pink, and salmon red. All terrific baits. What I'll usually do is first part of the spring, I'm going to put every single one of them on there. I'll usually have two or three rods out, whether I'm bump trolling or drifting, depending on the conditions. And whatever the fish like, I'm going to switch everything else to that. So I'll usually start with a chartreuse and a pink deadly double, and I'll have different colors on all the different hooks. And if I start to notice something's getting bit more than anything else, I'm going to switch over to that. Artificial baits in the spring, definitely live or natural baits late spring summer and fall and here they are we're going to talk about the bunker the shiner live minnows or mummy chugs spot mullet and we talk about a couple of different other species like rockfish we're talking live eels and we're talking about sheep's head, tall tall, and that sort of thing. We're talking green crabs and sand fleas. Now, let's show you where we hook them. So the different baits, natural and live, that we're going to use for different species of fish are extensive, pretty extensive. And all of them are pretty readily available in the back bays of Ocean City, the marshes and the creeks and things like that, if you know how to catch them, especially the minnows, the mullet, the bunker, the spot and all that sort of thing. If you're if you're good at that kind of thing and you know how to catch them with a cast net or sabiki rig or otherwise, you can have some pretty good luck catching your own bait so you don't have to go pay dollars and dollars on this kind of stuff. But if you don't feel like messing with it or you don't know how, most of the local tackle shops will have the majority of these baits in stock different times during the year. First up, the American eel. Using that bad boy for rockfish. Sometimes guys use them for flounder. They better be real small though if you're using them for flounder. But I did see about a 10 pounder caught in the Ocean City Inlet. Guys, late fall fishing for rockfish. Hook him up toward the front of the nose there. And if you're smart, you're going to ice him down with a cold cooler. Put a, like a wet rag on top and slow these bad boys down. Otherwise, they're going to knot up around your line. And you're going to be basically throwing the rig away. Next up, green crabs. Green crabs were fishing for, for uh, tall togs, sheep's head, that sort of thing around the south jetty, north jetty. The sand flea. If you look on the middle of that sand flea, that's where you hook them, and this is how it ends up. Most everything eats a sand flea. I've caught flounder on sand fleas, although that's not the most popular bait for flounder, obviously, but terrific bait for sheep's head, sea bass, rockfish, tog, you name it on the South Jetty. That's a really, really great all-around bait. And if you know what you're doing, you can catch them in the surf off of Ocean City. Shiners, frozen all the time. If you can get them live, you're a lucky person. Really, really good bait for flounder. The live minnow or the mummy chug. Easy. Hook them up toward the lips, not too far back where you get them in the top of the head, otherwise you're going to kill them. Live minnows are probably one of the more popular baits for fishing for flounder in the back bays of Ocean City. Next up, live spot. There are some regulations coming out on spot 
They're stupid. They suck, but we're going to have to deal with them. You're not going to be allowed to have more than 50 spot per person in your boat, whether you're fishing for them or you're catching them to eat them. No more than 50 spot per person. That should be plenty. Uh, you know, If I'm going out flounder fishing and I've got 50 spot, that should be plenty for me. And if you multiply that by every person in the boat, you should be fine. Next up. The live bunker. This is coming. It's between these two, man. Bunker and mullet coming down to the wire. Which one's my favorite now? It's kind of a toss-up right now. Last couple years, killing flounder with this one. Live bunker has been really, really good on our live bait rig. But live mullet, I caught the biggest flounder of my life on a live mullet right off of Martha's Landing 10 or 12 years ago. Eight-pound fish ate one of these bad boys hooked just like that through the lips. Terrific bait. Sometimes I'll snip that little dorsal fin off so the flounder feels it doesn't get doesn't get shocked and spit them out too quick. But mullet is probably still my top bait if I can get them uh, live because they make a really terrific flounder bait. Baits all taken care of. We're going to come back here in just a second and we're going to talk all the different species that we catch in Ocean City and real quick what baits to use, where to catch them. Stay tuned after the break. Knowledge drop. Sticking with it. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades. Whether it's a family outing, a corporate event, or just a day on the water with your friends, all our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and boast knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big one. Call us today and book your charter. We accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center. The locals know it's the best place to go. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater Center Console and Sylvan Pontoon Boat Dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan Pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. You know Miller Lite only has one more calorie, right? <laughs> Right now at Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning, we're offering our 16 sear heat pump system with matching variable speed blower for super low pricing. All pricing includes standard insulation, a 10-year part, and 10-year labor warranty. And if you're not in the market for a new system, we service all make and model air conditioners, heat pumps, gas furnaces, and ductless mini splits. Let Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning keep you comfortable this season. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We appreciate you tuning into this and every single episode of Hooked on OC. We're right here on WMDT TV 47 every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. I know you guys at DVR. Don't be ashamed of it. So do I. We appreciate you watching whenever you watch it. And thanks very much. So we're talking about back bay fishing here in and around Ocean City, everywhere from the Verrazano Bridge up to the Route 90 Bridge and what we catch in those different areas. So when I did my seminar on Facebook a few weeks ago, I grouped the different species that we catch in Ocean City into a couple different categories based on where, they're, where we're fishing for them, what we're using, how we're fishing for them, techniques and that sort of thing. So I think it's kind of a smart way for you guys to think about what you might possibly catch catch fishing for things a certain way. So here are those categories in a group and how we do that. First up, striped bass, otherwise known as rockfish, that's Maryland state fish. Bluefish, you're going to hear me refer to those two different ways. Snappers are those little guys anywhere between 10 inches and 2 pounds or so. And choppers are those big boys. Choppers because they chop baits in half. Snappers snap at baits, choppers chop them. They're those big 5 to maybe 10 or, or bigger pound fish. Weak fish or sea trout right there in the middle. That's the one you're most commonly referred to as trout when people mention it. The spotted sea trout, 
second from the bottom there. That's a speck. You'll hear a speckled trout, but you'll hear me refer to those as specks. You can see the slight differences between those two fish. Very similar dorsal fins, very similar tails, pectoral fins, anal fins, but spots on the speckled trout, more of a broken pattern and a golden color on the sea trout. And then at the bottom of the screen there, the red drum, red, red fish, puppy drum. We hear those referred to different ways in and around Ocean City. You can catch all these different fish different ways, but here's a couple of techniques that you wouldn't be surprised if you caught these fish fishing in a couple of different hot spots. Where are you going to see them? You're going to see them at the South Jetty. You're going to find them at the North Jetty. You're also going to catch them at the Route 50 Bridge. Some of these species will make their way to the Route 90 Bridge and the Verrazano Bridge down south. Those three aforementioned spots are going to be the best spots to fish for them on a regular basis. If you're casting for these fish, you're casting for any one of them, all of them are going to eat the Roy Rig. Big Bird and I have caught every single one of these different fish on the Roy Rig. That's going to be the best one if you're using a spinning rod and you're casting for these fish, regardless of whether you're fishing slow retrieve, fast retrieve, surface, or bottom. These fish will jump on at different times depending on the circumstances. If you're going to be fishing for them on the bottom, two rigs we use are the live bait rig and the deadly double. Deadly double sometimes gets a little complicated because it's a two hook rig, so you don't want to put giant baits on there, but if you're fishing with a dead bait like a crab, they work well for that, or if you're using a dead bait or artificial bait like a gulp, they work really well too. Best baits if you're bottom fishing, the gulp, so you can use the gulp crab or the gulp swimming mullet. If you're using, or excuse me, if you're using live baits or natural baits, spot, bunker, mullet, peeler crabs, and live eels. Two of the next fish I'm going to talk to you about, we're on the last list, but we're fishing for them just a little bit differently. Red drum, striped bass, and now we've added black drum to this list, and we're going to be fishing for them a little bit differently. Hot spots for these guys, South Jetty, North Jetty, Route 50 Bridge, and like I said before, you can catch black drum especially and rockfish at the Verrazano Bridge and at the Route 90 Bridge, depending on the conditions. And when I'm fishing for these bad boys in certain conditions, I'm using the fishing OC rigs up top there, the live bait rig, the deadly double rig if conditions allow, and our double header rig. Double header rig is a terrific rig for using uh, peeler crabs. You can rubber band peeler crabs or soft crabs on those hooks, and it's a really great rig for the sand flea when you're fishing for either black drum, red drum, or rockfish around that structure. Speaking of structure, we're going to talk about three fish that absolutely love structure. When we're talking about fishing around the South Jetty, the North Jetty, Route 50 Bridge, we are definitely talking about catching tall tog, sheep's head, and trigger fish. When you're fishing for these three different species, you are definitely fishing around structure. Hot spots, South Jetty, North Jetty, the Route 50 Bridge underneath. A lot of people will fish on land or from land on the bulkhead behind Ocean City. And Martha's Landing over there in West Ocean City along the Rip Rap has gotten to be a really popular spot to catch Tall Tog. Best rig, double header. No brainer. It's got a 50 pound test, two, ho two hooks on it, very strong hooks, and it will accommodate all these different baits. Sand fleas hole, sometimes two or three on a hook. Green crabs, if they're small enough, you're going to hook them right through that back fin. If they're not small enough, you're going to cut them into either half or quarters. Last but not least, the peeler crab. Peeler crab is a terrific bait. All these uh, fish will feed by scent, so they'll smell these baits as they get broken up, and peeler crab is the smelliest crab out there when he's in that period. So they're going to be looking to eat those bad boys from the rocks, the bridge, and other different places. And that's a great way to catch them is on that double header rig. My good buddy Luke Bloom, Captain Luke Bloom, and Joshua, his son, we went out to the South Jetty last year, absolutely destroyed the sheep's head on that top and bottom rig. The double header was live sand fleas, caught a couple of red drum and a few rockfish too. Really, really fun trip and great fishing on a nice day in Ocean City. Okay, guess what? Coming up after the break, it's my favorite two words to say, folks. Paralichthys dentatus. It's all about the flounder when we get back. Stay tuned after the break. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 
or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Pure lure, baby, pure lure. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Hope you're enjoying this. I don't know what I want to call this. This is kind of like a how to, where to, what to, back bay fishing in Ocean City. Um, we're not catching any fish in this episode, right? Some, some episodes you're just not going to catch fish, but you might enjoy it because it's going to help you catch fish. And this is how I do it all season long, fishing for the different species and different techniques that we use in and around Ocean City to catch all the different types of fish that we've got back here, most of which are really, really good to eat and a lot of fun to catch. But... What's my favorite? If you guys have been watching the show for more than five minutes, you know that my favorite kind of fish to catch is Paralichthys dentatus. Jim Crawl told me that word long, long time ago, and it is summer flounder. We catch two different species of flounder in Ocean City. The summer flounder, by a long shot, is going to be the most popular and the most caught. We rarely catch any winter flounder, but we do catch a few. You can see by this graphic the summer flounder, or fluke, up on the top, that's the one we catch the most. He's a left-eyed flounder, so when you're looking at him, when his mouth is on the bottom and he's laying on his white side, you're gonna see the eyes above the mouth with the fish facing to the left. Another real way to tell the difference between a summer flounder and a winter flounder, very large, conspicuous teeth. Don't be putting your fingers in the mouth of a summer flounder. Winter flounder, he's down there on the bottom, very, very small teeth. You could even lip these guys when they're small enough. You're barely going to ever see them in Ocean City, but there are a few around. They like colder water. This is the one the guys to the north refer to as a flounder, a true flounder, and he's a right-eyed fish. So when he's laying on his white side, eyes above the mouth, he's facing to the right hand side. So summer flounders spawn in the fall during their offshore migration. They leave Ocean City October, November time frame as the water starts to cool down. They spawn offshore in 120 to 600 feet of water depending on where they feel comfortable. They migrate back toward the inshore waters late winter, like right now. So late February, March, they're heading back toward the beach. They'll start heading into our bays if they don't get any interruptions, like uh, dredging the inlet, for God's sake. They'll be moving back into the bay sometime in March, and the first flounder is usually caught sometime late March, early April of the year, depending on water temperature, bait, and that sort of thing. You can see my wife Kristen there back in 2019. She caught the first flounder on April the 4th using our, there you go, the deadly double in chartreuse. And what we're going to do after we come back from the break is I'm going to tell you how I'm going to be doing it early spring. March and April, May a little bit, and then I switch. We're going to talk about summer flounder fishing. And we're also going to talk about late fall before those fish head out of the bay, how I do it, what I use, see if you can have a little bit of luck. Stay tuned after the break. You are watching Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. It's beyond the gun. It's the brain before the bullet. It's not you doing a drill. It's you mastering a skill that could save your life. Fortress Training trains both beginners and advanced shooters on the skill of carrying a firearm and is unlike any other training. Fortress Training has helped over 2,000 people successfully obtain a Maryland wear and carry permit. If you qualify, we can help. 
Public, private, and corporate events for training are also available. Train at the next level. Train with Fortress Training. PYY Marine is the Mid-Atlantic's choice for Yellowfin, Cape Horn, and Solus boats and is an authorized factory-trained sales and service center for Yamaha, Mercury, and Suzuki engines. PYY Marina in Pasadena, Maryland offers affordable slips and the gated facility offers 24-hour surveillance for worry-free storage. Whether it's education, service, slips, sales, or storage, our goal is to make boating easy and fun. Give our experienced crew a call and let our customer service speak for itself. Why PYY Marine? Why not? And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you for tuning in to Hooked on OC. We are at Atlantic Tackle now for the Angler's Advantage, and I am once again joined by Scott Castleberry. Good morning. Of Penn Abu Garcia. How you doing, man? Yeah, doing well. Really appreciate you being with us again. We're here to talk about some of the stuff that we're going to be getting into real, real soon. Flounder fishing here is starting up. Uh, the offshore season starts usually end of May, first part of June, so we're going to talk about some gulp products that we'll be using in the bay, and then some reels and things that we can be using offshore. So if you don't mind, man, let's talk about this stuff. Of what's new, uh, everybody knows the swimming mullet and the gulp yep. Berkeley products. What came uh, to the U.S. last year that kind of changed the face of flounder fishing was some of the new grubs and grub colors. Uh, the six-inch salmon red set records all up and down the east coast. Now we have the brand new five inch grub, perfect size for the flounders, uh, four standard colors in it now with four more coming this summer. Yeah. So for all the salmon red fanatics, you'll be able to get it this summer in the five inch. Right now you can get white glow, pink shine, nuke chicken and chartreuse here at Atlantic Tackle. Yeah, Michelle says that July the salmon red will be available in the five inch here at Atlantic Tackle. Sure will, they'll be one of the first to get it right Very here. Very good. Okay. And those different grubs come in sizes for the, the pack, this pack, four count, five pack or count, depending on the size of the grub. And then they also come in half pint and pint sizes. So if you, if you fish a lot, like I do, I, I get the pint all the time because I want way more baits and I don't want to be restocking all the time. So you've got different options, different price points. We, we sure do from $5.99 to $19.99. Gotcha. Uh, we, we can cover your angler needs. Yeah, the more you buy, the more you're going to save as you get larger in the sizes. Exactly. You got products for keeping your reel maintained, right? If you do it at home do, by yourself, they, you got stuff you can t take home, lubricate it, clean it. Sure can. They're, they're a very complete store here. If you need real cleaner, real oil, real grease, real covers to keep yeah. the salt spray off of it, they have it here. And speaking of reels, yeah. uh, brand new Spin Fisher Series 6, uh, new 2500 size, 15 pounds of drag, $139 retail. It's great uh, price. Great reel, strongest 2500 we've ever made. And speaking of strength, for your offshore needs, they have all the slammers here, all the way to the 10,500 size. But this 6500 high speed, 40 pounds of drag, 6 2 to 1 gear ratio, 299 retail, tremendous reel for tuna fishing, anything you want to do with it. Yeah, you're going to see lots of boats with this on there for their spinning stuff where they get on a school of mahi, dolphin. And they want to bail them. This is you're gonna have four or six of these come out of the salon you out in the sure cockpit, can. and they're gonna rip them around. And you'll see it in the surf as well. You'll yep, see a lot of surf good. guys using this size. And we offer it in an 8,500 size. We just got back from Costa Rica, and we caught some big rooster fish down there. One of them was about 50 or so pounds, and this is the kind of stuff we were using. High speed's key for rooster fishing. Yeah. 
Uh, quicker you can bring the bait through the barrel, the harder that rooster is going to hit it. That led to part of the development of this reel. Gotcha. Fantastic. Thanks very much for joining Thank us again, you. Scott. We really appreciate it. Guys, you can get in touch with them here at Atlantic Tackle at AtlanticTackle.com or give them a call at 410-213-0421. They're at the east end of the Commercial Harbor, right on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill. You can come and check out all the new products and this extensive line of gold products that you will see in my boat soon enough. We'll be right back after the break for some more Hooked on OC. See you in a second. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top-name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts' in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks sport fish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Aquatraction Custom Design Marine Flooring Products have exceptional traction wet or dry, making your boat safer, cleaner, and more comfortable. Aquatraction Flooring is durable, stain resistant, and backed with 3M adhesive specifically designed to withstand the harshest marine environments. With 23 nationwide reps, Aquatraction has an unmatched three-year warranty, provides the fastest turnaround time, and has unparalleled customer service. Check out Aquatraction.com to find out why I've got it in my boat and how it's charter proven all around the country. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. Okaya means dependability. Okaya means value. Okaya means fishing. Check out the full line of Okaya rods, reels, and accessories at okaya.com and find out for yourself why thousands of customers around the world rely on Okaya fishing equipment. Because Okaya means business. Now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, welcome back. Hope you're enjoying this episode of the show. Not not much fishing going on, but plenty of fishing info coming at you. Uh, we've talked about all the hot spots, the baits, the rigs, uh, different species that we catch. And now we're talking specifically about flounder. So as the spring season moves in, the first flounder of the year usually gets caught sometime in March. Last year, earlier than ever, March 14th, Butch caught that fish, and then it was on for the rest next two months. It was really, really good. So... When I'm using a flounder setup, this is it, man. I don't switch. I'll switch rigs. I'll switch baits and that sort of thing. But it's always on this bad boy. The Calcutta TE is always in the boat on this 7-foot JPR Curly Q. Love this rig and this setup. And early spring flounder fishing, it starts with the deadly double. This is already ready to go. This is not last year still on there. I'm just anxious, man. We're going to put this in the water sometime mid-March. It's only a couple of weeks away. You can see how extensive the deadly double rig is. And these spinner blades really get the job done. Terrific design by Dale. And it's available for you guys at most local tackle shops. Like I said, Atlantic Tackle to the ceiling with these things. So go by and pick them up. Two ounce, three ounce, four ounce sinker, depending on the conditions. This can be on there all year long if you want to and catch fish with it. Flounder regulations for 2021. Same as last year. Thank the good Lord Almighty. Four fish, you're allowed 16 and a half inches open all year round. So as soon as that first fish shows up, we're allowed to catch and keep them. Four per person at 16 and a half inches or greater. Guys, check out our websites fishinoc.com you can get all the fish in oc rigs the roy rig is available on there right now while supplies last check out hookedonoc.com all of the episodes of the show 
some gear probably still left on there, and Mimola, 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 Mimola. That's all, folks. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, folks, there we go. That's all, folks. Like I said but right before we came back from commercial break, that's all. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the show. Decided to do things a little bit differently because that seminar on Facebook Live went so well. Had a lot of response. Had a lot of questions I was able to answer. And I wanted to put it out there in show format because there's really not much going on right now. Uh, we've been we've been dissed on a couple of shows as far as the weather is concerned. We do have some stuff coming down the pipeline, some really exciting shows coming up for you. Flounder fishing is right around the corner. We might head over there to the Wakanda. Comico River and do some perch fishing again. Bass fishing is always on the table with stuff. Hope you enjoyed that episode with Captain Jim. We're also set up for April to go tall fishing with Captain Chase Everly. So, the, the, the opportunities are endless. Just got to have the weather cooperate. While the weather's been doo-doo, thought we'd bring this to you and get you a little bit of help on how I catch different species here in and around Ocean City. We appreciate you joining us for this and every single episode of the show. Stay tuned next time. You never know where we're coming from. See you then. Peace out.